Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonkey. So I have a bit of a more serious topic to talk about today. So in the background, I'm just going to be killing elf warriors because I want to be gathering these tiny elf crystals because um, it's really annoying to have to charge them. And at the moment, I only have nine of them, so I have to go and recharge them like once a month. And I really want to just get a ton of these elf crystals so I do not have to worry about them for a long time long time and I can just you know teleport where whenever I want to do my farm runs and uh, not have to stop once a month I know it's not that big of a deal but I just want some more elf crystals is all but anyway uh, what I wanted to talk about today was kind of a little bit to do with the US economy and really um, why the job market is so stagnant and uh, really why there's not a whole lot of hope for the future now I know not everyone that watches my videos is American and some of you might be young and might not quite realize the situation in the US and I'm not trying to say we have it really rough here or anything but I'm just saying like for the youth of America for the guys my age you know early 20s coming into their adulthood um, it's really really difficult and the future is not bright so I just wanted to kind of make you guys aware of the situation and I guess talk a little bit about it because this is the stage of my life that I'm going into and it's pretty much what I spend 99% of my time when I'm thinking uh, that's what my mind is on is my future and how I'm gonna go about that with the uh, the current situation in the US right now um, so at the moment I've been thinking kind of more about along the lines of getting a career rather than just having a job because at the moment I do have a job uh, for those who don't know I work at a Quiznos so I make sandwiches and uh, that's about it well I also cashier and I also um, wrap sandwiches I also slice meat uh, portion meat do a whole bunch of stuff you know pretty much everything that the workers in Quiznos do I do I'm kind of an all-around person I'm not just uh, relegated to one role within the store but um, anyway I have been thinking putting a lot of thought into college I'm gonna be taking a little bit of college a community college course um, a community is like it has, it's two years of college but it's way way cheaper than like a full-size college and a lot easier to get into as well um, and I do have uh, money from the government to be able to afford that um, because I do come from a very low income background um, and if you do that in this country then uh, the government is a little lenient and can of often help you out with uh, paying for college and all that but anyway I've been t putting a lot of thought into that and um, researching it as well because a lot of people the dilemma that they're stuck with is they get a college degree uh, and then they find out that it's near impossible to actually get a job and use that degree because since the economy isn't very good uh, a lot of jobs aren't growing I would say the biggest problem by far is uh, for young people that are straight out of college and what um, it is almost a necessity to get a job now is prior work experience um, so what that basically means is if you don't have experience working say you want to be an accountant that's not what I want to be but I'm just giving this in a, as an example if you want to be an accountant and you get a you do four years of college you get your bachelor's degree um, you work really hard and put a ton of money into getting that degree and uh, you graduate with a high GPA and all that that can still go all towards nothing because in a lot of areas a lot of um, jobs will not hire you if you haven't been an accountant before or done accounting work at some point in your life uh, usually they require about two or three years of experience um, doing that job so if you haven't been an accountant for two or three years before which of course you haven't because you just graduated school and you just got the ability to be an accountant with your degree um, then you can't get a job it's not like this in all parts of the country but I would say for the majority of the country it is like this and uh, probably for the majority of jobs as well I'm not talking minimum wage jobs you can get those without college um, it's not easy to get them but if you put enough time into it it's possible to get minimum wage jobs uh, without any kind of um, college or either, even without work experience but um, a lot of times no matter how much experience you have say working at Walmart or whatever uh, if you try to get that uh, job as an accountant and you have your degree and you've worked at Walmart for six years and you've never missed a day and you've been you got a lot of references from managers saying you're a great worker and everything that can still all add up to absolutely nothing because you haven't been an accountant before and it's true this is an extremely extremely unfair way um, for young people to start a career for themselves 
because a lot of young people they just can't get the job that they took the degree for so it's basically like those four years of college and all the money and the time that they put into getting that degree are completely wasted because um, you know just the area where they live in often doesn't have any places that are willing to hire people without work experience uh, and what this leads to is a very stagnant economy because it means all the people with good jobs are you know 40 and 50 year olds that happen to get their first job uh, you know 20 years ago when the economy was much better and you could get a job without previous work experience it's really really bad thing for the economy and it's a really really sad thing for you know younger people who are looking to get their start in life and they can't because they don't have work experience so I'm kind of struggling with that dilemma right now there's quite a few different careers that I'm interested in um, I have researched extensively and uh, I don't want to go into individually which each career I'm interested in uh, because that would take absolutely forever to explain them all but um, I can say that almost every single career basically if I got the degree um, if I took four years of college and put a ton of money and put myself way into debt getting that degree I would basically be screwed because you can't get a job without experience and you can't get experience without having experience basically so there are a few ways around this there are uh, internships that you can do sometimes you can get those without having experience in a job and be an intern for a couple years and uh, some companies take that as valid work experience some don't um, but often even the internships uh, these days are very competitive it's very hard to get an internship for some crazy reason it's actually hard to get a job that you don't get paid for I know it's a bit crazy it doesn't make a lot of sense but that's just the economy today so yeah just I the area where I live in the job market is very very competitive there's not a lot of jobs that are growing uh, all the careers that I'm in well not all but the vast majority of the careers I'm interested in if I took the four years of college at the current state of the economy I would basically be screwed because I would not be able to get a job because of the lack of experience so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm just kind of very extremely worried about the future not too happy about it because um, you know I really like working at Quiznos I have great co-workers and everything but um, even if I work 40 hours a week it still does not pay enough to say support myself living on my own um, with all the bills how expensive it is to live around here so anyway, I'm a bit stuck in life. Um, I guess I have a lot of things to figure out, but I just kind of wanted to make you guys aware of the situation of what it's like in America, uh, kind of rough with the economy the way it is, and just the dilemma that a lot of uh, younger guys like me are going through right now. Makes it hard to really get a start for yourself, and I think this is probably why you see so many, you know, 25, even 30-year-olds still living with their parents. Not so much that people are lazy and don't want to go out and get a career for themselves, but just because this country makes that a very, very difficult thing to do sometimes. It's extremely frustrating. And uh, anyway, I'm still going to be taking college uh, pretty soon. What I'm going to do is just take like the first two years um, of cor preliminary courses that you'd have to take to get any degree. And once I get those out of the way, uh, after I've taken those first two years of college, there's quite a few different degrees that I could end up going for ultimately and I have some time to make that decision but anyway uh, that's about all that's about all I have to talk about thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed a little bit of deep insight into the life of myself uh, I hope that's a good thing but anyway I got a few health crystals during this video I think I have enough so uh, I won't really have to worry about to recharging these things too much more and uh, yeah, peace out guys and farewell.